Welcome to Bad Food Blog. We've got something new fun to try today. Well, I think it's not new, I think it's old, but it's new for the channel. Turkey rashers. So I'm going to make a bacon sandwich with... Oh, wait, what's going on here? Look, really big packet, looks like the size of a bacon rasher, but the turkey rasher is nearly half the size. There's a lot of wasted plastic here. All advertising, isn't it? So turkey rashers are reformed pieces of turkey kind of like a turkey ham, if you can see that, which has obviously been colored as well, which you fry like bacon. And they're kind of, mm, how would you say, limp? Let's see how they get on. Let's do four for now, I can put the rest away. Four of them appears to be about the same size as three pieces of normal bacon. Oh, the pack self seals, that's quite nice. I can go put that back in the fridge. Apparently they're low fat. Good. They seem to be doing okay so far. Got them in a skillet here. Smelling pretty impressive. They've got a baconish smell going on to them. Hmm, not too bad so far. They're starting to sweat now. Look, they're also shrinking by the looks of it. Hmm, I'm curious to see how well they do go. I think it's, uh, should we give them a flip and see what's going on on the other side? Oh, so they are releasing sort of um, fat that's burning into the pan, very similar to normal bacon. So far we've got a pretty good simulation of bacon going on here. But they are absorbing fat rather than releasing it, unlike bacon. You can see this, they're drying the pan out. So I'm worried about them sticking. Probably why they're so low in fat. Actually doing the opposite of what I would expect. That's kind of distressing. I'm actually going to have to put some more oil in there. Otherwise I'm not going to have to chuck an egg in. I don't want them sticking to the pan. Hmm, interesting. Let me get some toast on. Going on there, probably have to turn them over. Just sorry, just putting the toast down. There we go. Let's give them a little flip again, shall we? Oh, that smell good. Yeah, the extra oil really helps. They're no longer sticking. They seem to need to absorb a certain amount of oil to continue to cook properly. They're releasing a lot of stuff that's sticking to the bottom of the pan now as well. Which is good because it's kind of making it look and smell. It's giving that Maillard sort of burnt on sort of look and smell of bacon, which is exactly what we want. I don't think I'm going to need the eggs. I'm going to make myself a bacon sandwich with them, I think. <coughs> Toasted bacon sandwich anyway. Looking pretty good so far. Is it time to flip them again? Oh yeah, perfect. Move them around a bit. Oh no, they're all, they're all cooking fairly evenly. That's the thing about an iron skillet. Once it's hot, it distributes its heat nice and evenly, especially to smaller pieces of meat. Looking pretty good. I think we're pretty much ready there. Just waiting for the bread to do. I can turn the heat off, I think. Don't seem to think there's much point in burning them. 
Mm. I'll pause it while the toast finishes. Right, here we are, just ready to serve up. It's, uh, this is going to sound weird to some people, but I do prefer to butter my bacon sandwiches when I make them with toast, otherwise it's a little too dry. And yeah, you're gonna say that's overkill and it's too much fat, but I don't care. I'm gonna leave a piece of bread open as well. I'm gonna put three in one and I'm gonna eat the other one on an open piece of bread and see if it, see what the flavor's like. Here they come. Right. All right. Here we are. All right. Just gonna take some washing up that skillet now. Looks pretty yummy, doesn't it? Let's get a nut, a fork, and let's try one of them. Without it being in the sandwich, give it the best opportunity to find out what the flavour is like. See what we're dealing with here? Ooh, looks pretty good, doesn't it? It does not taste like bacon. That is really tough. Oh my god. It's salty. Deary me. Ah, does not have the texture of bacon at all. And tastes a lot like turkey. Okay. Fried turkey doesn't taste too bad, but unlike pork, when you cook turkey this much, it gets very tough. So, we have a turkey bacon sandwich here. Let's see if it does better when it's between bread. Yeah, it does a lot better there. Hmm. Okay, so as a low-fat alternative, it's not as bad as some of the fake bacon I've tasted. But it's nowhere near bacon. But in a sandwich or as an ingredient, it does okay. Well, I'm going to go off and finish my breakfast. Please like and share the video. And if you're not already a member, please consider subscribing. Thanks. Bye.